Well, good morning, guys. That's right, Valentine's Day just around the corner. So we came up with an ingenious idea. Do you remember your first kiss? It was probably in a car. So we're gonna show you the best cars to kiss in for Valentine's Day. Now, ladies, what is the best car to kiss in? Oh, of course, the Dodge Challenger RT Shaker. It looks like it comes out of an Austin Powers movie. The Shaker is a throwback to the Dodge heritage when you drive your date to Lover's Lane for a Valentine's car kiss. It's not hard to find a great car to kiss in. So what's not a good car to kiss in? Well, trucks are generally a poor choice. The large center console is often bulky and high and gets in the way when you're leaning over to kiss someone. When planting your kiss, you need something that lets you get up close and personal. Subaru slogan, love is what makes a Subaru a Subaru Subaru begs us to test out the car as a kissing vessel. This couple loved the kiss in their Subaru. Michael Sprague from Kia pointed out two cars that he thought made good kissing cars. First is the new K900. It has reclining rear seats. So if you need a little more room to plant that kiss, then it'd be great to sit in the back seat. The high luxury reclining seats do make for a very comfortable kiss. His second choice? Our new Soul electric vehicle. If you're really looking to electrify your relationship, go with the Soul. I wonder if Michael speaks from experience. One of the best vehicles to kiss in is a convertible sports car. The seats are very close together and with very little between the front seats means you can plant that Valentine's kiss without any effort. The convertible hard top or soft top just adds to the ambiance. Now just a sidebar in England, it's actually called snogging in a car rather than kissing in a car. But perhaps something like this new Jaguar F-Type would actually help you get the girl. I'm Nick Mines.